Hello everyone. I'm going to demonstrate how to play take the A train using thirds and sevens. I first want to explain that when you look at the lead sheet, you'll see the very first chord is C. When you see that, you want to upgrade that chord to a C major 7. Okay, anytime it's just a letter, that means it's a major chord, but we don't just play C. We're going to think of that chord as a C major 7. Okay? I think all the others are marked in, and remember, if it has a ninth, C major 9, then we're just going to think 7 as well, or C or F major 9, we're going to think F major 7. So everything's going to be using 7s, major 7s, dominant 7s, and minor 7th chords in this, okay? So the first thing I want to remind you is that for vocalists, you do roots in your left hand, thirds and 7s in your right hand, okay? So I'll demonstrate that first. <clears throat> and I think uh, we can either we can either start with our thirds and sevens down low. I think I kind of like that in this tune, maybe a little bit lower. It seems to give it a little more weight. So I'm going to start down here. You could start up here. In the key of C, both of those configurations work. You know, starting with third and seven of C, that's C, or doing seven and three. Either one works. I'll leave that up to you, which one feels more comfortable for you. I'm going to do the lower one just because I feel like it gives it a little more weight. Okay, so you're going to have the root in the left hand, and I hope you can see that. I'm going to angle this over just a little bit so you can make sure you can see my left hand. Okay, and what we're going to do to give it um, a little bit of rhythmic value is we're going to put roots and fifths in the left hand. Roots and fifths. Just in half notes. Root and fifth of the chord. Because we have two full measures of C major 7. So we want to have something going on. Here's the second ending, two, five. Okay, so it's that motion. Um, rhythmically, we could make it swing by doing a slight variation in the left hand. One and two and three. 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 Then just half notes here. That really adds a bounce. So you, you must take the A train. Go to so will play the melody using thirds and sevens in the middle of the piano here. Okay, and again, it's going to sound a little empty without the root, but we'll add that later. Okay, let me make sure you can still see my right hand. Yeah, so here's, here's the other way to do it, and actually vocalists, this would be good for you to play the melody this way as well. Two, a one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, hit the chord. Three, four, chord, two, three, Three, four, 
our second ending. And we're going to hit this F7 every measure. that you all need to learn, okay? And it sounds like this. You've probably heard Duke Ellington. Sometimes he'll play it up here, up high. But the motion is a C triad in second inversion, then just augment it. And he liked to play off the sound of the whole tone scale sounds train like I guess for him so the two notes that you're doing up here in the right hand are E to G sharp so again both hands are hitting that G sharp and he just falls down from the E and does a glissando down to down to that G sharp via the whole tone scale okay and the rhythm is this one So if you want, to keep it simple, the left hand could just do half notes. One, two, so, two, three, four, one. That's the whole thing. I usually do that little more punctuated. Or up an octave. You may not be able to see my hands right now, but the idea just 8 VA okay so hopefully that helps the ending by the way is a very famous ending you've heard it lots of times it sounds like this then you do a cut you do some type of chord on the end so on your sheet you'll see where that is it's a little coda that's written and we should probably learn that because that's a very common ending okay so start with the intro play the melody or sing the melody using thirds and sevens and then uh, play play the little uh, coda that they have okay and I'll see you soon